G'day guys, welcome back. I am going to go with metallics today because metallics are just gorgeous and they're quite tricky. So I thought I would do another video and just show you how to work with metallics. I find that my metallics have to be mixed much thicker than I mix regular paints, even though they feel really really thick uh, they do need to be like that otherwise they just get lost this one may be just a touch thick um, what I've done I've got my black in the artist loft and I've mixed that one part black to one part pouring medium with a splash of water I found it needed a little splash of water so by pouring medium 65% Elmer's glue oil and 35% water if you're in Australia you can use Elmer's school glue it's just fine the white I've used my artist loft white and that is just mixed 50 50 paint and pouring medium no extra water it's probably a little bit thinner than the the black Should be all right. I had to add just a touch of water to that black. Now, the metallics. I'm using Global. Uh, this one here is metallic gold with a splash of the metallic pearl to lighten it up. Now, it's a really pretty colour. Um, let me see if I can show it to you. Find my little sample card. I can never find them when I want them. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? No, I can't find it at the moment. Never mind. Anyway, it's it's a really pretty colour. I do think I've made it just a touch too too thick. I added an extra blob of the cream. I'm just going to add a little splash of water to it. The this gold here is the same metallic gold and it's mixed with oh, haven't got the label on there it's the antique gold to darken it up so one I've added some pearl to lighten it up and the other one I've added antique gold to darken it up and I want I'm hoping for a really sort of contrasting painting I haven't been that successful with metallic pores I did one that was like too dark but my cells were all wobbly and out of shape and then I took out some of the black and it was too light and it just kind of looked brown so I'm going with the two blacks again. Copper I find really takes over so I've used only half the amount of copper, well not as much copper anyway. Um, and that's the metallic copper there and the silver is the metallic silver. So the gold I've had to mix one and a half parts paint to one part pouring medium because it's just a, such a thin paint. The copper um, probably one to one. The silver had to add an extra blob of pouring medium because it's quite thick. Okay let's go. Uh, spot on treadmill silicone for cells. One, two, three one two three one to the actually I will you know I'm just going to put three in everything you can just have two because you're not very much oh I think three fell in anyway okay stir them really well metallics because they're a different pigment they don't really mix with silicone as well. Kind of seems to want to just float on top. So give it a really, really good stir. Now I know I'm going to get grey from this black and white. That was, um, I don't know, maybe I can do that. I don't really want the, the black and the white next to each other. I was trying to work out how not to get them next to each other. <laughs> I think that'll work. Now I've made up way too much paint. 
because I was only going to do one cup of black like that and then I thought it's a lot of colour to only have one cup of black so yeah went with the, the two cups of a black That's better otherwise I've got black gold black at least I've got a few different colors between the blacks there all right stir this one I don't think this stirred this one have I I think I've stirred all the others if you're not in the States and you can't get the artist loft black paint that's fine just use what you can get I'm just trying it out uh, this is a 30 by 60 centimeter canvas 12 by 16 inch actually I probably don't need three such big cups never mind probably the medium sized cups would have been better these are my small cups they're the 225 mil and then I've got the medium cups which is about 350 mil and then the big ones here are five 40 mil. Um, don't really want to put the copper next to the white, but doesn't matter. Probably going to go like a pale, maybe pinky tone. You can't win. You can't have, don't want the black next to the white, don't want the copper next to the white. Something's got to go next to the white. Now, yeah, because I've got so much paint, I probably won't use it all. Maybe I can do a little something with the leftover paint. Knowing me, though, I'll use it all because I've got it. But I shouldn't. See, I should be putting it away like that. Well done, Julie. Because I know it's going to be way too much paint. And if you've got too much, if you have trouble tilting, I know it sounds funny, but if you've got too much, the paint kind of squishes in the middle and then you can't tilt your paint that's in the middle. I'll use all the copper because I only made a little bit of copper not as much so let's use all that and some more black this poor cup's hardly got anything I'm wanting lots of gold. That's why I've got two different shades of gold. So I want lots of gold in there. When you think of metallics, you think of gold, don't you? So. All right, that's all the paint that I'm going to use. Left a little bit in each cup. And I'm just going to do a flip. I'll leave that. I didn't spray these cups because I had plenty of paint, so it doesn't matter if some get stuck in the bottom. I think it's going to be pretty. Waiting, waiting. What's the back look like? Can I see anything yet? Not, no, nothing happening just yet. Okay, let's do this. Pour the, a little bit of paint on the, the corners there. That one seemed to have more white in it. Everything done. I've 
tell at the moment what it's going to look like. Got some cells already. Okay, let's turn that around. And I'm going to cover the half, that half of the canvas first because there's a big gap there. So I need to fill that in. So walk the paint down. It's moving fast. <laughs> Probably is a little bit thinner here. And here I was worried that it was going to be too thick. So tricky with metallics. And look, I've got my scales again. This is what was happening yesterday when I was having that trouble with my, my paint making scales yeah it's doing it again I just don't know why maybe it's the glue maybe I've got a bad batch of glue because this is all the same glue that I've been using I probably put Elmer's school glue in the glue all bottles okay where's my torch a little torch anyway and see what happens Maybe I can do a pour like this without white and maybe just add uh, pearl instead. I'm really, really not happy with all this, all these scales again. I just don't know why it's happening. I think I need to make up a fresh batch of pouring medium. really busy like those aren't cells those are those are scales the cells you get up when you torch because the silicone comes up through the different layers and gives you the cells different to to scales white through there. Wow, that white really took over. Didn't it? Amazing. Okay, well I'll know that for next time. Cut down on the white. Some really pretty cells in here though. But um, yeah, I think the white's really taken over. But we'll see what happens as I start stretching. And the gold, well, hmm. You see a little bit of it, even though you know I had two cups, I thought it would have been much more present. Let's go off to the side and come back. So I'm walking it to the sides and towards that long edge at the same time. Over the corner, plenty of paint. Hmm, I don't like <laughs> my lines. I like my straight lines. Right, now I'm going to move the paint back to the middle a little bit and go off to that corner there. Try not to lose all that dark paint on the corner. Okay, well, it's looking better seeing as it's stretched out, but yeah, the white, it's, um, it's really dominant, isn't it? I could get away with half that white. And I don't know that I like this pale gold, that light one. I think it's better, this, this darker gold, I think that's better. Mm. Especially with it mixing with the, the white, like it's gone extra pale. Now, I'm going to see, I don't know if I can, see if I can get rid of this scaling. See that scaling? Oh, so frustrating. I don't know why it's doing that. Maybe my white was too thin. It did feel thinner than the other colours. 
and see if I can get some of that to go off. Probably going to ruin the rest of it by doing that, but I kind of feel as if I have to. And you can see what I mean about the middle cup. See how the middle cup was there and it's kind of got squished because I had so much paint. Uh, if I had less, I'd actually be able to stretch it out more, but it's kind of stuck in the middle now. And it doesn't matter how much I kind of stretch it. Um, well, I would have to take a lot of that off to bring that centre over. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking it's it's still too thin. Wow, even though I thickened it up so much. And of course I've got the white scales. Darn you white. Having so much trouble with you. I wanted to see if I can get some of this white off. And open up some of that middle section. Didn't really work. My middle section's still only that big. Didn't didn't work. All right. Um, happy with the amount of black in it. I need to go again. Take out that light gold because I don't like that. Just keep the dark gold and make my mix thicker. Way too thin. Yep. All right. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to go again, take you in for a close-up. Um, you can see it's too thin, see the lines have gone all wonky and cells overstretched, so yeah, way too thin. I'm not even going to take you down for a close-up, I'm just going to scrape it and go again. I had so many scrapings this weekend. I don't seem to be able to get anything right lately. It's all because of that white. Hmm. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.